Hello world, Rick Nappy here and welcome to the Nappy Report. And today's topic is, I'm gonna leave you off on Friday with this, are your eggs good or bad? Meet me on the other side. Hi everybody, Rick Nappy here and welcome to the Nappy Report. And today's topic is, are your eggs good or bad? I think that, you know, on a Friday, let's, let's put this one out there so that over your weekend, you'll not make a mistake. Now, you know, a lot of people buy eggs. They say farm fresh on the box. You're in the supermarket and you go, yeah, I'm going to get those eggs. But really, are those eggs really fresh? Do you really know? Well, you don't know. So you get them home and you trust the, uh, the box, the label, right? So then you try to figure out, all right, since it's fresh and I just bought them, they must be good. Well, I took a sample of a carton of eggs, actually two cartons of eggs, and I decided to test it. Now, by the way, just to let you know, I test all my eggs. As you know, there's a very strong avian flu going around and you don't want that. And also a bad egg, even a good egg, could carry salmonella. And that depends on how good they wash it at the factory when they're preparing the packaging for them, right? So <clears throat> let's get on with it, all right? So here we are. Let's start out with how I test my eggs. And you should test them every time. And even if you buy them and you test them, every time before you use an egg, do this simple test. I have three vessels of water here, just plain water. Now, you don't have to use a beaker like I do. You can use a, a glass that's big enough to see what it does. So we're gonna take the first egg and we're gonna see if this egg is good or bad. Now, this is a brown egg and it really doesn't matter whether it's a brown or white egg. It really doesn't matter. So let's put it in here and see what we have. Wow, that one drops right to the bottom and stays flat. So it's lying horizontal. Now, that's a good egg. That egg is pretty fresh. Mm -hmm. By the way, don't leave yet because I got some other information to give you on eggs, all right? So listen, I'm just trying to show you this. Now let's take the second egg. Remember I said brown and white doesn't matter. Here's the second egg. Let's put it in, drop it in. Now look what that egg does. It starts to bounce a little bit. You notice how the other one just dropped. And now that egg sort of comes horizontal it moves up horizontally. Now you might not be able to see that in the round glass, but believe me, it's, sit, it's not sitting flat and laying down like the good egg. This egg is a bit older, same box, but a bit older, all right? So that's a, a, an, a, an egg that's a bit older. Now let's take our final egg and let's test that. I'm gonna drop it right in here. And that drop, whoa, that won't even go down. <laughs> that, my friends, is an egg you don't want to eat. It's floating. And what happens from, from the first good egg to the older egg to this egg? Well, oxygen gets in there. The yolk shrinks a little bit. Everything else shrinks a little bit. And then eventually it starts to float. That's an egg you don't want. <clears throat> Now, let me tell you a little something about eggs in general. Did you know, did you know that in the supermarket, when you purchase an egg, a box of eggs, did you know that they could be anywhere from six months to eight months old? <laughs> yeah, six months to eight months old. Those are your fresh eggs, six to eight months old. <clears throat> they could sit around for at least three months in the factory before they even boxed up and, uh, Distribute it. Think about that. So if you want fresh eggs, please patronize your local egg people, the people that have eggs that their chickens lay right there in your locale. And I'll tell you why. Corporate farmed chickens mass produce eggs and they're not treated like a local farmer treats their chickens. A local fresh egg really is fresh, and the turnover is very quick. Not only that, but the shell is a lot thicker. The yolk inside is a lot 
richer in color and it's creamier and smoother and it has actually more nutrients. So the older the egg gets, the less nutrients it has. So whatever it says, it doesn't matter. Now, let me tell you about another trick that you're not, not aware of. A lot of times when eggs expire, you know, they're on the box. It has an expiration date. Well, when a supermarket, and I'm not saying all of them, but some do this more than you think, they'll take those eggs off the shelf. They'll come pick the eggs back up. They'll send, be sent back to the factory. They will rewash the eggs. Mm -hmm. Rewash, they will wash, rewash the eggs and put them in new boxes with a new expiration date. And then it comes back to the supermarket. And then you think, gee, these are fresh eggs. <laughs> and i.e., that's where we get the anywhere from six to eight months old. Now, listen, if there's a contamination of salmonella, E. coli, that could happen when the chicken's laying the egg. So you got to be real careful of that because you or your family get very, very sick. Now, I'm not sure how many people know about this or knew about this, and maybe some of you do, but my recommendation would be that no matter where you buy your eggs, make sure when you get them home, put them in the refrigerator, wherever you put them, but make sure that before you actually use the eggs, the eggs that you're going to use, do the simple water test. If it lays flat horizontally, you're good to go. If it sits up uh, vertically and but still stays submerged, it's a lot older. If it's floating like this one is, <laughs> you don't want it. Throw it out. Save it for Halloween and throw it at people, whatever you want to do, but don't eat that egg. All right, everybody. So that's what I'm leaving you off with Friday. Is your egg good or bad? I don't want you getting sick. I want you to stay healthy. So Next week, <clears throat> I'm going to put together, I'm putting together some stuff over the weekend. I'm working over the weekend. And I'm going to put some stuff together that <laughs> may interest you, and it's going to run the gambit. i got news for you. Look, sometimes what happens is I get these things that I want to shoot and get out to you, and then something all of a sudden comes about, like, like the Oscar thing that came about. I didn't know that was going to come about, and other stuff like that, and it's just impromptu, and I have to get to it, and then... I got other stuff that I have to do and, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, anyway, if you appreciate this, if you got anything out of the egg test and uh, enjoyed it, or if you have anything to add to it, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a heart, whatever you want to do, spread the word to your friends, but never, ever take the word of an expiration date on a box of eggs for granted. When you get home, make sure you test them when you're ready to use them before you put it in the dish that you're going to make, before you make those scrambled eggs, before you put it in your baking uh, goods that you're going to, the cake you're going to cook or cookies or whatever you're going to do. All right, everybody, you got it. Horizontal flat, good egg. Uh, still submerged, uh, uh, vertical, a lot older, but edible. Less nutrition. Bad egg floats right to the top. Won't even sink, will it? I put it in there and it's like a bobber. You can use this for fishing. That's right, you could put a little little <laughs> fishing line through it and you can throw it out there and it'll become a brand new bobber for you. Now you don't have to buy the plastic bobbers. Anyway, everybody, I hope you have a blessed weekend. I want you to all stay safe. God bless America. God bless your health. God bless your safety. And God bless good eggs. Support those local farmers those local egg hatcheries, and buy their eggs because there's a much better chance that they are extremely fresh and they are probably much more nutritious. All right, everybody. God bless. Have a great weekend. Stay healthy, and I'll see you Monday or Tuesday. We'll, we'll see. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.